Hey, what's up, guys? And what's up, Sussex Squad? Y'all sit down. We got to talk about Kate. You guys, Kinsen and Palace is finally pushing out back unfortunately they have been caught in the lie of all lies do you know that even the marching orders they gave out to completely blame kate have completely blown up in their faces because now even the most staunch tory royalists are calling out william for being a complete cad and leaving kate out there and a lot of people are talking about kate's shell shock she's this she's that kate is nothing because we haven't heard from her they even tried to publicly humiliate Kate, but the Daily Mail and all these newspapers are not to be taken lightly. You guys, look what actually showed up on the front page of the Daily Mail. And you know they like to be cheeky. What have they done with our loved ones' bodies? And then the article, Will and Kate Should Come Clean. They are now being cheeky, but definitely, if anybody knows the Daily Mail, they know how they play, trying to say that there is something deeper with Kate. Now, I know I'm focusing on the divorce. I know I'm focusing on Hannaberry. I know I'm focusing on the way they're treating Harry and Meghan. There's always something with these people. But the one thing we mostly need to focus on, I don't just think William is soft launching a divorce. I think he is soft launching a, 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 a campaign that Kate cannot come to the phone ever again. And maybe I'm not playing about that because think about it. Look at the words they're used. Distraught, devastated, emotionally unstable. It's rocked their marriage to the core. It's rocked their marriage to the core. That she's so emotionally unstable that he can't do what? He can't do what? William tried to show up to a funeral but he just looked like a complete maniacal fool. You know William is there punching the curtains. You know that meme of that crazy, like, 60s housewife, like, going crazy, ripping down curtains? Why do I feel like that is William? Sarah Vina said, there's only one way for William and Kate to put an end to all the cruel speculation. Come clean about what's really going on or risk drowning in a quagmire of their own making. They are basically, remember for a while they were saying that they know exactly what's going on, but they know exactly what's going on, the UK press, but they're not saying anything because it would be improper. Now, I will say, I do think there's a special injunction that there is a gag order about what's going on with Kate, but... It seems like right now they are making threats, not promises, the UK media to the royal family saying either come clean or we are going to go in. Now, the important thing, and I think this was an actually really good point. Somebody made a point of the royal family being like, what's the big deal? And the derangers, it's just photos. But somebody made a really good point about these photos. Let me read it to you. This is directly from Tina Brown. She says the wills have come off Kinson and Palace. They are failing. Get this. They said, this is Tina Brown. If you know, she is a royalist, royalist, Rhoda reporter. So for her to say this, baby, they mean it. The palace did, did always say, we're not going to give you any health, day, uh, health updates on Kate's condition. She's going to have this operation and she'll be back. She is indeed entitled to privacy and should have it. I know what y'all thinking. Megan wasn't, right? The problem is that when you release the picture, it is a health update. The picture is a health update saying, look at me, look at us. I'm perfectly fine. So of course the world descends on that picture to dissect it. So I think that it was that the great mistake, that was the great mistake they made. And this is an excellent point right? This is an excellent point. At the end of the day, right? Releasing a picture is a health update. Kinson and Palace knows that. Everybody with a brain knows that. But they're still playing around by everything. Oh, who cares? Give her privacy. You Again, you cannot give health updates to mislead us. Then when we find out that everything you say is a lie, retreat behind the privacy. Because now everybody is saying, including the royal reporters, where is Kate? Kate. Get this. She also doesn't think that there was one original photo. She says, I'm deeply skeptical that there was an original photo. I think it's a jigsaw of picture pictures. Digging, Tintin and Palace just keeps digging themselves deeper into this mess. Frankly, 
They created for them for themselves. At the end, of, and then this is what they said about Kate needs to come out and wave from a car because they said even this whole thing about her being sick, it doesn't mean anything. They said at the end of her life, Queen Elizabeth had bone cancer. And in the last eight months of her life, she was on Zoom. She managed to come out that balcony and hold on to that stick. People didn't realize she was actually wheelchair bound the last six months of her life. The public never saw that, but that was what it was. So why can't they simply have Kate on a sort of 50 second Zoom saying, I'm here, I'm fine, bam, that's the end of it. The kind of hiding that they're doing, it seems excessive to me. I think all she needs to do is wave from a car window. That's really all she needs to do and smile. And it's puzzling that that doesn't happen. Not only has it not happened, but they have had Kate lookalikes. They have had Photoshop. Not, I can't, I don't want to say Photoshop because it makes it sound too small. They have had completely AI generated, reconstructed photos. So much so that there was a kill switch. Again, everybody keeps saying that this is a soft launch for a divorce. I think that whatever reason, William wants to get all these legal ducks in a row before he announces he's not with Kate. I think that's something completely different from Kate actually not being conscious. She might not even be on earth. And I know what you said, who would be that stupid to do that? That seems so dumb, unnecessary, pedantic, and just crazy. Dumb. And it has, has not been this whole carboppel that William's gotten himself into. This is only what, Tuesday or Wednesday? Um, they're saying that everything is so, why is everything so chaotic? It's possible that this was a transitional bad staffing situation. Oh my God. Kensington Palace cannot take responsibility for anything where no one was really properly paying attention. But clearly the public is going to look at a hand with no wedding ring and say, where is it? I think that the wheels are coming off in terms of the sort of press situation at the palace. This is not untrained. This is literally them trying to walk back the fact that they are lying to us. She says that she, that Kate, they all agree that Kate uh, they don't buy that Kate edited the photo. Actually, I think that there was no PR strategy. I think they are failing, flailing, and we need to have a new PR person come into the palace and start having a strategy about these issues. I disagree. I disagree. I don't know why with all this going on, their solution is to get somebody that can actually lie better. That doesn't make any sense. She goes on to say this old idea, really, that you can completely disappear. It just doesn't work. It didn't work in Princess Diana's day. I do think Kate clearly feels ill and depleted and she wants this time. But I also think, you know, there's been much strain and stress on her. She's been trying to say, can I just require quietly in peace, just like Diana tried, and they won't let you do it. Now, listen, what's the takeaways? Even the royalists are saying they suck, they're failing, and they want to know what is going on with Kensington Palace. Let's also not forget that Kensington Palace ex insisted that that edited photo was all Kate's fault because they signed it C. I do want to say when I looked at that apology, first of all, she never said that she never, whoever was the C person, she, she never really apologized for editing. She just said she likes to edit. And she apologized for the confusion. Well, maybe that's a British apology. I don't know. You guys, what do you think about this? I think this is disgusting. Okay. Also, there was an article that was pulled from the Times. I'm going to read you that article right now. Because I think it's important that you guys hear what William was up to. And the disgusting limps he'll do to protect himself. Even though he is the person causing his own problems. And this is what the UK media first expected us to believe before they started lashing out. If this isn't the invisible contract, I don't know what is. They said the image was the first time the princess has been formally photographed since her surgery in January. However, Getty PA images, this is what was pulled. Um, uh, however, uh, PA, Getty images, Associated Press, um, Agence France Press Shutterstock, uh, Shutterstock Rotors and Press Association killed the image from their database, noting an inconsistency in alignment with Princess Charlotte's hand. They actually did a whole breakdown. It's more than that. 
Yet none were spotted by AIDS before its release, and information regarding the editing process was not believed to have been shared by the princess with her team before it came public. Again, they really expect us to believe that sick Kate spent all Friday and Saturday completely photoshopping a picture when she had all her kids their nanny, her glam, her hair, and everything else that could have just gotten their clothes laid out where they just could have just gone in and just taken the picture. Okay, right? Um, now, they said that uh, when that picture had been shared by the princess with her team before it came public, it had initially been greeted with praise by courtiers. Yeah, because they thought that they were stealing Harry and Meghan Shine. And they were too arrogant, stupid enough to know that's not what was going to happen. They were gloating for about four to five hours. And Twitter was like, that ain't Kate. Until the AP press killed the image. The first red flag might have been that the seemingly perfect image was shot in just a 40-minute window on Friday in Windsor. The constraints meant that the picture had to happen once the children were back from school and once Prim Prince William was back from London where he had been attending the Earthshot event at the Oval Cricket office. There was only a limited amount of time because the family was also due to fly off uh, to their home of Omner Hall in Sandraham for the weekend. The following day, Kate circulated the image to her team. At no point did anyone realize it had been subject to an unfortunately clumsy attempt at editing. They're calling this woman clumsy. Looking back, alarm bells might have been, might also had been started ringing when courtiers realized that it was William, not necessarily known for his camera skills, who had taken the picture. The time frame in which the image was taken would also suggest that without editing, the Wellses have been extremely lucky for an amateur like William to capture such an engaging picture. The PR plan was to put into place uh, um, the image and its corresponding message to go out at 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. Within hours, theories were circulating online that the photo had been doctored. A shock palace assessed the situation and went back to the Prince and Princess of Wales. Kate confirmed it was her and is understood to have thought that honesty is the best policy. She went to own up and acknowledge her mistake. William made his sick, missing, ailing wife, the mother of his children, own up. To something that Kate would never do. She's too much a perfectionist. And be humiliated on a global stage. William is some nasty work. The palace insider said Kate felt awful about it. And said she had just tried to make it the best she could. Because she knew how important it was to have a nice picture. Are they really expecting us to believe this? They added she was also thinking of her own children. Hoping they look good for their own sakes. These people have professional dressers, hairstylists, makeup. The fact that they literally cosplay between Kate and them and the kids being poor working class people and royalty that have butlers and nannies. The princess released a new statement apologizing for any confusion over the picture. Kensington Palace refused to go further and explain what software was used in editing the picture or the way it was changed. Again, if Kate can do all this, why can't she get on a Zoom call? She's obviously well. However, Sky News that a technician at the broadcaster had analyzed the photo's, photo's metadata to reveal it was saved in Adobe Photoshop twice on an Apple Mac on Friday and Saturday, and the picture was taken on a Canon 5D Mark V. Um, the first save was made at 9.54 p.m. on Friday, and the second was at 9.39 Saturday. It's not clear if the two saves were on the same device. Quite how it could have ended up such a PR disaster for the princess can in part be explained by the changes underway in the Wells household. William and Kate's palace team is in a state of transition after restructuring. It is advertised, was advertised for a chief executive, but is yet to announce a successful candidate. The widely respected John Christopher Gray, a civil servant and former first spokesperson for David Cameron, while his prime minister was private secretary to, for William until he recently transferred back to the government. Instead, both William and Kate have new private secretaries, both well-respected but new to their roles. Are they serious? Ian Patrick joined the household for the Prince of Wales last month as Gray's successor, a former private secretary to Lord Ashdown. Patrick has an exemplary track record and sits on the board of trustees for the charity Crons and Clotus. Kate, meanwhile, has hired Lieutenant Colonel Tom White, filling a role which had been vacant for at least a year following the departure of Hannah Cockburn Log. You guys, the fact that William is so desperate and so pathetic 
and just so everything that they are willing to blame a sick woman for them trying to cover up her disappearance. I don't care what you say. Kate, we're not going to see Kate in Easter because if we could see Kate Easter, we would honestly see her now. Listen, well, like, like Den Denaria said, William took credit for the photo, but when it was exposed, suddenly it's Kate's fault. He's repulsive. Of course he's going to blame her because she's been stashed somewhere and can't speak for herself. Where are the Middletons? Why isn't Carol out there defending their, her daughter? Just what did he do to her? That was Susan Collins. Um, a spooky nerd said, if this story is true, that despite having a team whose job is public relations, somehow the responsibility to get a pick to the public fell entirely on Kate's shoulders. We must ask why she's the only semi-competent person working at Kensington Palace. Why is she doing their jobs for them? L. Smith said a good reminder that the heir can do anything and they will be protected. Will was raised knowing this. That's why he has, he has the personality he has. He saw who won and who lost between Charles and Diana, and he acts accordingly. Listen, I will just leave it on this. She said, no, 1997 said, Prince Harry really is an anomaly for that family. He moved heaven and earth to in order to protect his wife and family. Another person said the headline should be sick, sick mother makes mistake. If Kate is to blame for this whole debacle, we'll never know. But blaming her is the best formula they have to gain some sympathy and let it pass that this is not a simple edit, but a complete manipulation of an image, which apparently is not even real. You guys, listen, Will's being dragged on Twitter and rightly so. I'll bring you whatever updates then that we can. Um, but I do want to say, baby, it didn't happen to nicer people. Mm, karma has come for the uh, House of Windsor. And remember a month ago when I actually said that the, the, the House of Windsor has fallen and the royalists were like, oh, please, they've been around for thousands of years, baby. The fall always starts in one year and baby, you own year one. Pretend, pre prepare for the landslide to bring it down. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.